This is Jonathan Agroff here for Pro Boxing Fans. We're in London today. Delighted to be joined by Connor Ben. Connor, you're back out. Haven't seen you out since October. Excited to get back, back in the ring? Yeah, definitely. I mean, people are talking about ring rust and that. There ain't no ring rust. When you've been grafting in the gym, there ain't no ring rust. You know, I'm going to come back better, more excited. And, you know, it's going to be a destructive performance. I mean, I saw you last time after you went against Stefan Jamoy, another yeah. destructive performance. What have you been working on so far that you can maybe sort of tell us to adapt to this year? Is it sort of the same sort of approach? No, it's all the little things. You know, working on, you know, your ring craft. It's all the, you know, the little things that, that you know, play a massive part that, you know, make you a complete all-round fighter. You know, it ain't just being the aggressor, it's being able to box on the back foot, being able to have good defence. You know, the power's there. Um, so, you know, 12, out of my last 12 fights, 12 of them have hit the deck. Do you know what I mean? So, listen, I'm only 23, so it's, you know, getting stronger, getting, you know, getting more powerful. So, it's all I can do is graft behind closed doors and, uh, you know, it shows proofs in the pudding. Mentioned in the press conference, you've asked for fights with Johnny Garton, yeah. Chris Jenkins. Yeah. Can you explain why those fights didn't happen, materialise? I stand to them. We offered them uh, good money. I think that we offered them what they wanted. We got off with Garton in the fight and then... We got an email saying, oh, do you want the Jenkins fight? We said, yeah, to both of them. And they said, no, they bring something to the table, saying that, you know, I want. And, you know, them fights don't happen. Now we're talking like the likes of Samuel Vargas, you know, a top fit and, and then for March 28th, another top 50 ranked in the world. So they bring something to the table, saying that I want. I mean, the main event here, Josh Cullen, David Avanesian, what did you make of that press conference? Quite fiery. Um, do you feel a bit for Josh Kelly? Obviously, we know he pulled out of the last at the last hour through illness. What's your reaction on the whole situation? Well, Neil Marsh seems to have um, all the documents. So it's not, it comes from there no longer being comments to them facts. So it's... Kelly's a fighter. He gets in the ring and he's, he's, he's going to do one job and his job is to fight. All the other bits is down to his team and everybody else. So, you know, and people will associate Kelly with his team for making mistakes if there were any. So, Kelly's a fire, Kelly focusing, doing what he's got to do. If he was sick and he had to pull out, fair enough. You know, if that, it was a good decision, now the fight's bigger down the line, things happen for a reason. Um, but, it is what it is, Joe. Obviously, Obviously, you've got to back the Brit. So, I hope, I hope he does it, do you know what I mean? I like having this in. He's a cool fighter. I'm all about his style. I love his style. And, you know, he can bang. How do I see it going, honestly? I think Avanesian, based on Kelly's last two performances, I think Avanesian does him late. But can Kelly rise to the occasion? Sometimes that's what matters, rising to the occasion. Just a couple more because I know you're heading off, Connor. Um, mentioned in the press a potential international opponent for you. Um, I don't know if you saw it on Saturday night, last Saturday in Sheffield, Anthony Tomlinson. Um, Apparently that fight was mentioned uh, between you two. What's the situation? Is it going to be an international opponent? The fight weren't mentioned. No, he's, uh, he's not part of the plan. You know, all the, all the people on the undercard here, they're not part of the plan. I understand they call me out and want to fight me. I, I, I didn't even know who he was up until this fight, where I saw an article on, um, on Twitter saying that he said that he'd agreed to fight me. There weren't no offer from me and my team. Where's that come from? Do you know what I mean? But it's easy for people to talk on socials. It's easy for them to say, oh, you know, this and that. You probably agreed the fight between you and your coach because you two probably sit there talking about it. It's the only time you've agreed to fight me. Do you know what I mean? I've, I've only just heard about you. Bring nothing to the table that I want. All these British fighters, you know, the cream always rises and we'll meet up the top for the British fighters. So if I ain't got to fight um, these fighters now, Mark, Mark Garton, Jenkins, British Commonwealth title, former British Commonwealth title, I'm all for it. Prove a point. But if I'm not fighting this guy, I'm ducking that guy. If I'm not fighting this guy, I'm ducking that guy. Oh, I'm, not, I'm ducking that guy too. Do I look like the type of guy that's scared to fight people? Do I look, honestly, do I look like the type of guy that looks worried? No, that's not at all. So if they fancy it, it don't bother me, but it's what makes sense. I'm with the best promoter. I've got the best team. We've been doing it for years. And look at where I am today because of them. Cream always rises, and all these British fighters that want to fight me now, if they're any good, we'll meet at the top. Absolutely. Final one, Connor. How do you see next week's rematch going between Wilder and Fury? Again, back in the break. I think Fury had done it. I think Fury had done it the first time. I think he'll do it the second time. I was expecting Luis Ortiz to show improvement in the second Luis Ortiz fight. 
there was no improvement apart from relying on the one bang punch power. That's all it takes, but Fury's proven he can take the shot. So, my prediction is, not Fury knockout by two rounds, Fury to win. Perfect stuff. Connor Ben, thanks very much for your time. Catch up with you ahead of fight night. Pleasure.